Okay, so two sticks of butter. We're going to have one going in one pan and another going in another pan. And that's all right. A lot of people are doing the turkey trot or getting some exercise tomorrow morning. So it's the holidays. A little bit of butter. That's a good thing. Okay. So I've got two pans working here. One I'm going to make a roux in. The other one I'm going to saute some vegetables in. Actually, Bob and I are doing a three-hour tennis uh, turkey, I don't know what they're calling it, turkey extravaganza at our tennis club. So tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be a lot of fun. I can hardly wait. Kids will be sleeping in, so we figured might as well get up early and get some exercise before the big Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. And Levi is feeling fantastic. Back to completely dry food. We didn't need to put chicken stock on it or anything. He is doing great. So thanks for everybody who emailed me about that. And he's, you know, a senior, so he's slowing down like the rest of us, but he's feeling great. He's on some antibiotics for about a week, and they worked. Whoop. Oh, well, we'll do the one in the one pan and the other in the other. Okay, so we're going to get the onion going in this one. I've also got some celery. Hey, don't forget to talk about, during the holidays, our next big night out. Talk to some of your family members and friends and see if you want to go. It's going to be fantastic. It's a French dinner. We're headed to Chateau de Pierre, Tuesday, December 4th. So hopefully you're going to come. A five-course meal, mussels with garlic, French onion soup, a salad with Roquefort dressing. Uh, it's just going to be one magical evening. Uh, main course is beef bourguignon with potato gratin and vegetables and then dessert vanilla creme brulee. So $60 a person that includes five different wine pairings and the tip. Great, great, great deal on that. So go to our website fox11online.com and you'll see a little thing there that says big night out and you can call and make reservations but this one's filling up quickly a little bit of salt and pepper when it's you're doing soups it's so important to kind of season as you go so i'm going to switch burners switch a roux here and get the veggies going on that one switcheroo. yeah switch a roux haha very funny no pun intended i'm just waiting for the butter to melt i think i'm all set although there's always one more grocery store trip to make before the big Thanksgiving dinner but I was there this morning I was there last night and uh, I'm hoping I don't have to go back again but I probably will okay so in goes with our melted butter flour and this is what's going to thicken this soup it's real important to cook the flour in the butter for just a few minutes or, you know, a minute or so, that cooks the flour taste out of there. And uh, again, this is a real important step. All right, so while that's doing that thing, their, that thing, their thing, they're all doing their thing. They're hanging out. I'm going to get to work on uh, slicing up some mushrooms. Real important to clean the mushrooms, and Anne was kind enough to do that. I trim off the ends, and I, we just like to use a wet paper towel instead of running the mushrooms o under running water to wash them because if you do that they tend to absorb the water and uh, they're, they've already got enough water in them so just a, a moist paper towel or dish towel clean dish towel and then I just kind of wipe up the the dirt from the mushrooms That's very nice actually Hope to see you out at Cook's Corner on Black Friday. Are you doing the whole Black Friday thing? So I'm going to be out there from 8.30 to 10.30 Friday morning. So after you do the running around to the big stores, there's a big event and big sales going on at Cook's Corner, that wonderful kitchen store in the Green Bay area. And I'll be out there uh, signing my cookbook Friday morning. So stop in for some coffee and treats. They've always got treats going on there. Um, hope to see you at 8.30 to 10.30. Black Friday morning. 
So I just added some milk. And I want to really whisk this together with that flour and the butter. So that we don't get any lumps. Okay, now I'm going to finish up my mushrooms. Got up early this morning and I just, I couldn't sleep. I think I was so excited with Riley coming home and dove into the book club book and oh my gosh, it's so good. It is so, so good. If you're looking for a new good book, even if you can't join us at book club, uh, go get this book. It's called Light, what is the name of it? I can't, Light Between the Oceans, yes. Um, it's about a lighthouse keeper and his wife, and uh, they find a baby. Anyway, it's, it's just fantastic. I'm about halfway through, and I can't wait to hopefully finish it this weekend. Then our book club meeting is at La Java, that wonderful coffee shop in Swamico. That's the location we're meeting at. They've got two locations, one in Howard, one in Swamico. We're going to be at the Swamico one Wednesday. December 5th, so please come and join us for book club. It's so much fun. And this is a quick read. Like I say, you can't, once you start, you can't really put it down. It's hard for me to put it down this morning. Okay, I'm gonna get my sliced mushrooms. And it looks like we've got quite a bit of mushrooms here, but this makes a big batch of soup and these mushrooms tend to disappear. They really kind of shrink down. This is a good soup to make after Thanksgiving too, if you're doing like a veggie and dip platter, which we always put out a, a lot of munchies before the big dinner. Watch some football, play some board games and things like that. Um, you know, if you've got leftover celery and mushrooms, and you can also throw turkey in this soup to kind of beef it up a little bit. Right now it's more of a, you know, it's just the vegetables, the wild rice and the mushrooms, but you can certainly add leftover turkey or chicken. Just waiting for this to come to a boil. Now, one of the fun parts about this recipe is instead of messing with making wild rice, uh, we're going to cheat a little bit and use canned wild rice. I picked this up right at festival. One of the things I picked up on the, the way to work this morning. And you just open it and drain it and it's done for you. You could certainly use the real original wild rice. Wild rice. In fact, one, at one of my book signings just this past week, a woman told me that uh, one of the ways to speed up the cooking process for wild rice is soak it in water all day. And then when you come home, it cooks up a lot quicker. So that's a good tip for you if you're going to cook your own. I'm just going to cheat and use the, the canned wild rice. and just drain it real well. It's, there's a liquid in there and we don't want any of that liquid getting in the soup. It's packed in like a water and we can just get rid of that. We don't need that. Got to get a plug in for the new Packer Live show, The Better Half, which airs Fridays at this time. Well, guess who's going to be on the show Friday? Donald Driver. He's going to make his famous sweet potato casserole so really excited. Watch from 9 to 10 this Friday after you do that Black Friday shopping. You're going to be ready to plant yourself in front of the TV anyway. So I'm just waiting for this to come to a simmer. Now, I want to give this some great chicken flavor. And one of my secrets to that is, you know, when I grew up, we just used uh, chicken bouillon cubes, and they are really very, very salty. So um, chicken soup base is, is really the better way to go. And this recipe calls for about eight teaspoons. Every soup base, though, is a little bit different. So I always start with a little. You can always add more um, because you don't want to, once you put too much in, you're really stuck. So start with a little and it's going to make a great yellow color. And also give it some great flavor. I can just tell by the color if we're going to add a little bit more. But this stuff is also very salty, but it a lot of the it just got a lot more flavor than the chicken bouillon cubes.
I'm just waiting for this to thicken. When this thickens, I'm going to add it to the mushrooms. In fact, I'm just going to switcheroo and add it now. And, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Get that in there. I'm just going to let this simmer and we're just about at the home stretch. So when we come back, some more fun, different last minute Thanksgiving and recipes uh, that are a little on the wild side. So don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Oh, this looks good.